Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Edmund So, and I would like to tell, I、uh, would like to talk about the HKDSE sample paper, mathematics, compulsory paper one, session B, question seventeen. Please read the message. As this is the foundation of the whole series of this video. If you don't have enough time, please pause the video. Otherwise, let let us to let us go to the questions. When we look at the questions,、uh, we see that there are two equations, and there are also two unknowns, which is m and e. And for the question, we need to find the magnitudes of scale A.、Uh, we use the letter m to represent this magnitude. And then we find out that what we have here is actually simultaneous equation. However, it involves logarithm. So I would like to take this chance to help you to rewrite a little bit of、uh, logarithm. First of all, we have to look at the definitions. What is logarithm for? Is is going to help us to find index. So. Whenever we have index functions, we can write it into log functions. So a little bit secret is we have a base a of the index number.、Um, to change index functions to log function, we just need to memorize the base, because as you can see, the base of the index will、uh, will become the base of the log. Okay, as I said. Um, logarithm is help us to find index. So,、uh, the index number x will become the subject of this、uh, log functions. You also need to have the knowledge of logarithm rules to help you to manipulate log equations. However, you may say, "Well, it is not easy to memorize so、uh, much information." So, why don't we use some、uh, easy example to help us to Memorize this piece of information. I will set some golden examples, because everyone knows that one hundred equals ah、uh, ten square, and then when you use calculator, ah、uh, the calculator will tell you the common log hundred will equals two. Common log also have the base ten in your calculator. Uh, for the manipulations of log, I have to give you a few more examples in here. I always find that、uh, there are three useful、uh, log rules. The most useful for me is this three. So when two log number adding up, the number under log times together. If you cannot memorize in my way, then I hope you can memorize this by the By these simple calculations, because log two and log five are irrational number, when you add up two irrational number, the computer will tell you that the result is one, which is equal to log two times five. That means log ten equals one. Again, I use the similar concept to help me to memorize、uh, when two log numbers is subtracted each other. Then the number under log will be divided by the others. All right. Also,、uh, for the last one, is is very useful in order to find out the、um, the random base of log number. All right.、Uh, you cannot use calculators this time. However, you can use some simple log rule like the the one we always. Uh, throw the index of、uh, under log number in front of the log, so you can see log、uh, base two eight must be three to memorize、uh, this log rule. So back to the questions. In order to find m, we need to find e first, and e is a equation with only one unknown, so it is very easy to find. As far as you remember, every log equation can turn into index equations. Then, 
you remember the base of log will become the base of index number. We can solve e very easily. Don't try to uh, use the calculator to find out the approximate value of e in this case. Because if you use the approximate value e to carry on your calculation, you will find out that your final answer will have some error which we call is culminating error. We always avoid culminating error. So at the end, we only need a simple skill of substitution to find m. OK? So again, let me remind you once more. You don't use the approximate value in here. Otherwise, at the end of the day, you will have an answer which is different from the 9.6. 9.6 in here is the exact value, is the true value. All right. All right. Of course, you must uh, conclude your application problem. Otherwise, you will at risk of pawn sticking. OK, thank you for your attention. Uh, if you have any problem, you are welcome to email me. Uh, if I know the solution, I will, call you, I will uh, email you back. OK, goodbye, everyone. Bye.